What's up everybody, Rex Collects here with another uh, new product line. I thought I'd do a bit of a review, um, especially for the newer users who are trying to get into Formula One, right? I think we're all big N NBA, NFL fans. I'm a huge UFC fan myself. Um, but I think with the popularity of the Drive to Survive series on Netflix, especially in the States, um, F1 has really taken off, right? And, and we're getting more and more races here in the United States. Tickets are almost impossible to get. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be a really cool, uh, quick little video just to kind of go over the, uh, the tops. Uh, 2023 new release came out about two weeks ago. Um, we're one race into the season. Uh, Verstappen obviously is continuing his dominance and I just wanted to give you guys a quick product overview of what you can expect uh, out of the product. We ripped uh, 10 hobby boxes. They retail at about $250 each, right? So it's like $2,500, um, which should give you guys a good and girls a good overview of what you would expect out of a product like this, um, right? There's only 20 F1 drivers. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of different variations of those drivers. And I think what Tops have done, Tops being the exclusive trading card of Formula One, is they've really bolstered that lineup, which means you're going to get the additional 22 F2 drivers, right? So those are your up and coming stars. Um, and then you'll also get um, some of the crew teams as well. Some of the famous ones, right? The Christian Horners and the Totos. Uh, and things like that. So yeah, I thought it would be a cool video to get uh, to put together. This is the hobby box itself. Like I said, uh, we ripped 10 of these. Um, so there's four cards, four cards per pack, 20 packs per box. So we did 400 essentially packs. Um, super easy rips, right? I mean, you get four cards and um, it's just your floor is going to look like a mess. Uh, when when you're done, this is one of three boxes As you can imagine right you need good waste management uh, to get through these mass unboxings uh, here, so uh, With that being said, let's kind of get started um, There's three really common uh, Ones that you're gonna get right those are the refractors um, Those are the cambers and those are the speed demons Um and the autos uh, of 1977. I'll show you guys what those they look like. And here's where you've got to be a little bit careful um, because some of the cards that are refractors, they look like the common refractors that I think you get one in every three packs. They may be a very special print, short print image variation um, of 10 drivers that they did this year. There's a Max one, there's a Lewis Hamilton, um, you know, the, the Formula One stars you would come to expect, right? So this is kind of the, uh, what your refractors look like. So nice and shiny. I think, uh, you know, Tops did a really good job. Um, it's the Chrome series, right? So you could compare it to the prisms, um, the Panini prisms, same kind of Chrome look. Um, and you're going to get a lot of them depending on on how many packs you look you look to rip but again th those are fairly common right one in three and you'll be able to tell the difference straight away right like this is a um regular max here and then you know you put it up there you can see under the right light it's going to have a nice kind of little rainbow sheen to it So that's refractors versus common cards. That's kind of the first thing you wanna you wanna look out for um, there. And we'll get it more into the spiritual image variation because we did hit one. So I want to make sure that you girls and guys know the difference. Um, so these are the cambers that we were talking about. Again, with the amount that I ripped, uh, I'm obviously gonna get a ton of them, right? And there's a lot of maxes in there. There's like four variants of maxes. You know, two to three variants of your Hamiltons, your Norris's, um, your Perez's, your really good. The F1 drivers, everybody knows. Again, there's 20 drivers, right? So they're going to have to bolster the 200 card set with a lot of the different variants here. 
And then this was a, another common pool that you're going to get. These are the Speed Demon lines, which I thought were pretty cool. This is Michael Schumacher, right? So it's not just the current F1 and F2 drivers. And the Speed Demons, you also get a lot of legends uh, as well. And there's different variants of those, uh, which we've pulled some as well. Some of them will be numbered. Uh, and we'll go through those ratios too. And then the last common ones, these were the um, auto uh, autos of 1977. Um, and again, these are, you know, chronicling kind of the, the driver cars. I like these cards. I thought they were pretty cool. Again, these are fairly common. You're going to get, you're going to get one of these inserts per pack, right? Whether it's the autos, the speed demons, or the camber, what you want to be looking out for are the special variations, right? The rarer cards, uh, that are either going to be numbered or they're going to have a special colored portrait uh, around them. And that's what I want to help you girls and guys understand. If you're new to the F1 product series like I am, you'll be ripping some cards and you'll see a whole bunch of different variations in colors. And be like, well, well, what does this mean? Why is this one particularly different? Right? So let's get into what our highlights were, okay? We pulled 400 packs. We spent $2,500. We were hoping to get some good stuff. And I think we did. Did we get a return on investment? Who knows? Um, but let's, we're gonna start with the more common ones first, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna get, as we progress into the more rarer cards. So these are your X Factor. These are the, uh, the black and silver variants, right? So these are unnumbered. And again, the, all the base varieties here are gonna have a variant of these, okay? So out of these that we pulled, I'll kind of go through them briefly. You know, this is where you find your Hamiltons, your Magnusons. Um, again, all the base variant will have a variation of these. And these are cool cards, right? Black and silver checker. Um, but again, they're not super uncommon uh, when you go through the pack. So now we'll get into our other non-numbered, more rare cards. And this is where it gets a little bit more confusion, uh, confusing. And I'll post during the video the ratio of when you would expect to pull these per pack. Um, so we go to Sergio Perez here. See, want to notice about the different colorways here? This is a purple and a green. The Carrera. Oscar, who probably everybody wants right now, right? Him and Norris represent Team McLaren. By the way, if anybody notices the Mitsubishi Lancer Euro 7 here, that was my dream car growing up, right? <laughs> so talk about a variation in, uh, in product quality. Um, so, and these are some of the F2 Future Stars, right? We've got a Hajar. Um, different colorway now, right? Green, I'm sorry, gold and purple. And um, we got a Perez, a Hamilton, a new colorway, more rare. We got a Roman, we got an Albon, and we got a Sergio Perez. So those are the ratios of the non-numbered. Obviously the numbered cards, you know, are labeled on the card. So you're going to get a feel of how rare those ones are, much like probably every other sport um, that you girls and guys collect. So let's get into... These were the purples, right? So this is the um, most common numbered card that you're going to get. And again, warning, you're going to pull a lot of maxes. And the reason why is because he was so dominant last season, they really, the 200 base pack, you're going to get what, like five variants of a regular max. Then you're going to, they chronicle the Grand Prix, uh, Grand Prix winners. So you can imagine how many maxes you're going to get in that variant. And then the driver of the day. So you can imagine how many maxes you're going to get at that variant as well. So, you know, I think we pulled on average one, one max per pack. 
Um, and sometimes we pulled four maxes, right? That's just how many times he's going to show up in this particular set, clearly because of his dominance last season. All right, so we pulled a uh, 399 max here. This one chronicled, again, see, Grand Prix driver of the day. Um, just different, different variations of max. So we got a max Leclerc, 399, Aja, 399, Max, that's when he won in the uh, driver of the day in the Netherlands, 399, George Russell, 399, Vesti, 399, Ocon, another Max. Uh, this was his base card, right? It's card number one, um, 399 of that. It's pretty cool. Sergio Perez, number two man. One of the goats himself, Lewis Hamilton, slash 399. I like that one. Uh, Lando Norris, and all blonde. Uh, and then award winners, right? This is a, uh, the higher up cards. This was chronicling um, Red Bull's dominance last season. Let me pull this slash 399 out of that. So again, the numbered cards, you're going to know the rarity just because they're clearly numbered. Uh, on the card themselves. All right, these are the next ones. So these are the, the slash 299s. These are really cool looking cards. I think Chrome did a great job. Remind me a lot of the uh, Prism, Hyper Prism, Pulsar Prisms, right? Kind of nice and shiny, um, but but not super rare in this particular variety. So we have the Veerman, Prez, Bottas, uh, Mani, and then you're going to get constructor crew cards too. Like I said, so we got the Stella, the Hajar, uh, another Max, another Max, um, and then one of the best interviewers, right? If you watch the Drive to Survive series, <laughs> we got a 299 here. Okay. Now let's go into the 250s. There's a lot of different purple variations too. There's like a violet, a magenta, right? So, but again, they're numbered. So you know the realty, rarity of them. We've got a Sergio Perez 250, a Carrera 250. We got a Victor Martins 250, up and coming. Leclerc, who is my favorite F1 driver, slash 250, Sainz 250, Alonso, and then yet again, another Max, see? chronicling is he was the driver of the day in Hungary, right? So it's another slash 250. Max. Again, you're going to pull a lot of maxes. So just be aware of that before you get super excited. Oh my God, I got the max for Stappen. Yeah, because half the series are going to be maxes. Um, so these are our first uh, numbered purple uh, and silver checkered cards. And these are slash 199s, right? So we got the Sains, got the Leclerc again, which I was happy about. Another Sains, Sergio, Kia Gasly. Um, and these were the award winners. I believe this particular card was um, the fastest pit stop award. And as you can imagine, that probably went to Red Bull just because they won the constructor. Uh, clearly won the constructor uh, last season. Okay, then we get into our teals. So the teal's getting lower and lower numbers here, right? These are all slash 150s. We've got the Gasly, we've got the Saints, we've got the um, Fittipaldi, who I always butcher his name, but he is a definitely an up and comer on the F2 series. So if you start pulling him, I would hold on to his card, to be honest. Um, then we've got the bosses there. Okay, now green variants. See how many, there's a lot of variants here. And these are a slash 99. So these are the more rarer cards, right? These are the ones that you kind of want to start and pull. And we got a Leclerc, a base Leclerc. So this was this is his first, uh, this is card number six, but this is his first, you know, base image here. So I was really happy that we got that. That's a slash 99, yet another Mac slash 99, um, and a Vesti F2 driver slash 99. Okay. Now we get into our I think they call these the magentas. We only pulled one of these. Now these are slash 75s, and that's a Leclerc. That's when he won in Australia. So I was happy about that. Now we get into our very much more rarer cards here in the set. Okay, so these are our gold and um, silver checkered, and these are numbered through 50. 
All right, and again, there's a base model of all of these as well. All the cards I'm showing you, there's a base variety and a numbered variety. We've got Sains, Debray, and then Nasani, who is another good future star to have. So I'd probably hang on to that one. See how he does. Okay, these are two more slash 50s. Um, this is a James Vowles. Again, you will get constructor, um, manufacturer, crew cards. I think there's only 10 of them. They're not the most exciting cards, right? But, uh, you know, with F1 and F2, 42 drivers to pull from, you're going to bolster. I keep saying it, but you will bolster the pack um, with some of these cards. So this was a slash 50. And then again with the maxes, right? This is a slash 50. And that's when he won in Miami, which was a really cool race, by the way. I tried to get tickets to that. It ain't happening. <laughs> Okay, here's where it really gets cool. So these were all slash 25s, right? So we got the Maloney, we got the Pierre Gasly, we got Fernando Alonso, who was cool. I mean, that was like a very, very good season uh, that he had. And then remember when we were talking about the cambers, right? The, the, the more common insert, we did pull um, a slash 25 of one of the goats, Lewis Hamilton, slash 25. So I was really, really happy about that one. That one's a rare car. Now, if that wasn't confusing enough, there are very, very rare cards um, in this particular collector's pack, right? These are the Art de Grand Prix. These are the Turn Up the Lights. Um, these are the Constructors Crests, which in my opinion are the coolest cards, right? They kind of look like the Passport with the Ferrari sign. If you get one of those, you're doing good. There's the F1 Armor Series, uh, which chronicles kind of the helmet, uh, which is also very, very rare. And then you've got the Futuros and the Futuro Autographs. And there's only 10, 10 drivers in that series. Um, and those are extremely rare, as you can see by the ratio pack. And we did pull one. Uh, we got a uh, Ralph Beauchamp. This was his last um, F2 campaign, I believe. Uh, but we did pull, it's a non-auto. There are autographs variants of this. So obviously not as cool because there's no autograph on it. Um, but that's a slash 25. Again, by the ratio, that's a very, very rare card. And then we'll get into the autographs. All right, the autographs are the cool ones. Now, these ones were non-numbered. Still very rare, though, to, to pull autographs. We've got the Jack um, Dohan F2 driver, the Zane Maloney, which I was stoked about. It's probably the F2 driver you want to be collecting right now. Uh, so that's a good signature of him. We've got the Vesti. Uh, and then we got into the uh, green. So these were the Slash 99s. And we got a uh, Dennis Hager um, and a Brad 99. So we didn't do too well uh, on the numbered autographs with 400 packs. All right, we missed on the big drivers. Obviously, the autographs, that's where you really want the, the Hamiltons and the Verstappens of the world. So let's quickly, before we end the video, talk about uh, the super short print image variations. And this was the one we pulled, right? So I was really happy about this. This is Lewis Hamilton. If you notice here, it's card tw 21. Um, so how are you going to tell? First of all, if you've pulled one or not, is you're going to go to your refractors that you pull because they have the same sheen to them, right? But you'll notice something really different about it. It'll be something like a different image. So if you compare Lewis Hamilton's card 21, um, which I believe it, it's just him uh, walking around, right? Clearly you see an image variation here. And another telltale sign is there's no refractor up here either, right? So be on the lookout for those. If you see that certain refractor sheen, um, and the image looks a little bit different. It means you've pulled a very, very rare card, as you can see by the ratio there that's posted. And again, no refractor as well. Um, so it's like a, you know, on a good day, probably $150 card um, right there, just because it's such a great driver, right? Everybody knows who Lewis Hamilton is. So that's kind of it. 
that's what you would expect out of the product. Um, it was a fun rip, super easy, right? Easy on the fingers if you do a lot of rips, four cards per pack. So you're ripping, ripping, ripping. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, F1's blowing up in the States. Um, like I said, Max just dominated last week. And that's kind of a product overview of what you would expect out of the tops. 2023 Formula One Chrome Edition. Hopefully that was good. If you like it, um, please subscribe to the channel. Doing a huge giveaway. All the details are in the video. It's a huge NBA giveaway uh, with my favorite set, Court Kings, that are completely sold out right now. Um, those retail for about 200 bucks a pop. Those are 10 cards. We're giving five of those away. And we've pulled a lot of victim web and uh, web and yamas and those those are the money makers right there but anyway i'll shut up about the nba i know this was f1 hopefully that guys uh, you know gave you a really good overview of what you would expect about the product they're fun reps i buy some more hobby boxes i like them um and yeah i'm really really looking forward to the season let's see if anybody can dethrone max so i don't know i don't know the way red bull have their cars tuned right now it's going to be really hard to do Cool. So hopefully you guys like the product review. Um, yeah, that's it. Until the next one, Rex Clicks out.